Shadow Binders is back in stock on shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. If you missed our Indiegogo, now's your chance. You can get the books again. And now on with the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about an alleged, alleged art plagiarist. Yeah, we're, we're covering our butt, but it, you know, it, the evidence speaks for yeah. itself. Yeah, so there's a fairly well-known Argentine artist who is accused of plagiarizing a lot of anime and manga influenced fan art. Lots of it. Mm -hmm. And getting paid tens of thousands of dollars for her I don't understand. knockoff paintings. Because what, and, and, um, and pretty much every case here, the original is far superior than her version. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that. It's making the news here uh, overseas. Uh, it's making the rounds on Twitter. That's where we found it. Someone tagged us in because uh, this person says that they had their artwork stolen oh, it's by clearly her. the exact same thing you know i mean this is j just a coincidence i'm i'm sure i'm sure even down to the two earrings and everything oh i changed the eye color to blue so it's fine like come the hell on all right so we're going to talk about it before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we're over 203,000 subs uh, thank you for the support so yeah, this is an Argentine artist and I'm probably going to mangle her name, but I'm going to try it. It's a Fatima Pechi Caru. I don't know. Uh, she's accused of plagiarism and she defends herself. Uh, she defends oh, herself. Oh, I'd love to hear the defense on this. So she's, she's, um, yeah. So she's part of a, a feminist art collective mm -hmm. at 37 years old. And, uh, yeah, people are denouncing her now. So she was a winner of the, uh, the prize in work in a Barrio Joven in April this year. So she's winning awards. I know her stuff is selling for tens of thousands of, of uh, dollars, US dollars. So the matter exploded uh, as it should in digital culture. Um, an anime artist identified as Agavort, who is this person, I believe, uh, reported on Twitter, my fan art has been plagiarized. The kidnapper is an Argentine named Fatima Pechi Caru, which I'm probably, probably mangling. And it's already been sold to the Avita Museum. The Avita Museum, a public museum for a very high price. I don't know who she is, but please don't buy her art. The next tweet, she says, I don't think all Argentines are like this. No, they're they're not, uh, I'm assuming. Most people aren't like this. Right. Um, yes. Especially in the world today when it's on the internet. Why would you think, I won't get caught? It's okay. She's basically defending it with, with uh, you know, anime and manga being... A cruelty with macho bias. What's that have to do with the price of gas? Part of the violence that I received as a woman as an artist is the political and psychological violence. It's a form of discipline. What's that have to do what? with stealing stuff? They've already released my personal data. It's not, is it a guy accusing her of that? So basically it's, it's, it's men. Men, men are accusing well, her of stealing. And you stole people's artwork, and it's not just, and I'm sure you didn't just steal artwork from men. You stole, I mean, allegedly, possibly, maybe, stole artwork, even though it's pretty obvious you did. Um, and now you're trying to say it's because, well, you've suffered violence as a woman? You know, there's been a lot of shit. I was called all kinds of words in Spanish that were very derogatory towards women and stuff like that. You know what? I didn't go steal a bunch of people's artwork because of it. Oh, God. So and they're doxing me. Her stuff isn't even very good. Her stuff isn't even very good. They're they're doxing me basically. I I plagiarized a bunch and it's a bunch of people. We're gonna go through the uh, thread. And I think this was uh, you know translate like Google Translate. This is this is in English for sure. But she's basically like the men are doxing me. You know, oh my god, I plagiarized a bunch of art and made a bunch of money, and now it's men. Those men. Even are though I'm sure me. a lot of the artwork that was you know copied is not uh, just men. Speaking of men, this reminds me of Liechtenstein. Mm -hmm. And he's been busted or was busted on several occasions, swiping directly from comic books. But it's okay because his stuff is is high art, and this is just pulp. Garbage, right, right. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and, and one it, got paid a lot more. Yeah, one person made a lot more money. So this is the original post, and here are some other examples. Gosh, she's not good. No, that's what kills me. It's like, what is this? Yeah, not good, not good. Here's another one. Social justice. She's getting ready to... 
Okay, what's that have to do with anything? Nothing. I don't get social justice from that. Compared to just, you know, watching the TV. Um, yeah, oh my so gosh. There's, there's, before there's more? and after Twitter. There's before, more? There, oh, there are lots more. This one. Um, Here's a whole list. Go to this whole one. whole list. Here we go. Oh my gosh. The original art is so much superior. I know, much right? Better than what she's putting out there. This is like a bad copy of a copy of a copy. I like pizza, Steve. And only some people get that reference. Anyway. So, so I get I get the vibe. She just Googles like anime art. And then she just, you know. That's cultural appropriation right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, oh my God. At least you try. Oh man, this one you can't even. It's like not even stop violence. Stop oh vi my So God. she's appropriating other people's artwork claiming that anime and manga is is sexist and macho and then she's adding political messaging to it you know what this is what some of uh, some of the uh, western anime businesses companies are trying to do is basically take manga and anime and add western political messages that's true but they aren't taking it like copying the art and then saying it's theirs and doing it copying it in a really shitty manner and then saying it's theirs like, she added a cat. So there's there's that. Oh my god. This is uh Oh my god. She stole from Rumiko Takahashi. Uh, I was gonna say, isn't that Rama? No! You can't do that. She just like took two random images and oh my god. Oh, wow. She is just like really, I mean, it's like obvious. But it's okay, guys, you're supposed to let her do it because it's all right. Because she was, you know, as a woman, had suffered violence against her. And she got doxxed after she got caught doing this. Not that you should ever dox somebody. Doxing is never okay. But I'm just like, what the flip? This is, uh, yeah. Some of them are just downright, like, I mean, other ones you can maybe argue that, okay, you're really pushing it, but other ones are, like, spot on. Oh, my God. It just goes on and on and on, you know? She's not even very good. She's not even good. This is, like, you went to a middle school art show, and somebody painted some Dragon Ball pictures. I think it's insulting to middle schoolers. Like, come. I see middle schoolers that are better than this. Wow. wow. Heck, some of our daughters better than this. And she's just learning. Yeah. And she's way younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's only like, she's, she's only like a kid. Oh, my God. So this is, this is just nuts, guys. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't agree with doxing anyone. But I think the blowback is, is warranted because it's very clear that she has built a career off of plagiarizing uh, other people's work. I mean, what, what, I don't know how else to say They're it. Like, it's not plagiarism, it's fan art. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Go to the comments on that one. Oh. It's also in all their languages. Um, she should have permission. Yeah, I don't think the artist was going to grant her permission to go and te copy her work and sell it for thousands of dollars. Is it a joke? Yeah, someone gets it. It's a joke. It's a joke. I was going to say. I was going to say it has to be a joke. Because no one's going to say it seriously. Oh, my God. So, yeah. There we go, guys. Uh, just watch it. I mean, this this kind of goes along with the video we did. It's also social justice. Social justice. Social oh justice. God. So she's stealing artwork for social justice. So that makes it okay. That makes it okay. She's doing it for what she thinks is the right reasons. No, don't take people's artwork. It's bullshit. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, just be careful when you put stuff out there, too. I mean, we've, I mean, we've, we've already covered this. You've had your stuff yeah, taken. Yeah. One person we knew had the stuff taken. That was the mega death thing. Yeah. So... There we go, guys. Now you can have your, your anime art taken for social justice, so it's for good cause. If you complain about it, you're just a toxic, violent male. And I'm, I'm hoping she took all that money she made off that and just funneled it into these, these, these things that she's claiming she's representing. Yeah, that's right. It all needs to go to charity. It all needs every, every last penny of it needs to go mm -hmm. to charity. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Yep. All right, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.